Hi, I'm David Ibber and I'm a current student at the University of South Alabama. No matter where you end up going, making the transition from high school to college is a big step. But today, I'm going to share with you some tips to help make that transition a smooth one and make sure you get the most out of your freshman year. Before you even step foot into your first class, there are some things you can do to get prepared. Whether you're at a larger campus or a smaller campus, you don't want to be that freshman that walks into your very first class late. Get a map of the campus and mark it up with where all your classes will be. If you drive to campus, make sure you find out where all the parking lots are to make sure you give yourself enough time to get to class. If your school offers public transportation, make sure you check their schedule and find out where all of the routes go around campus. Test out your route before your first class. You can walk, bike, or drive it to see exactly how long it will take. If your college offers campus tours, be sure to go on one. You'll learn a lot about the university and maybe meet some new friends along the way. Everyone has their own way of organizing. Do you like binders or notebooks, pencils or pens? Every professor is going to have different requirements and most will provide a syllabus so you know what you'll need, including supplies, books, and lab equipment. The syllabus may also include important dates. Pick up a calendar system that works for you and get all those dates down so you never miss a deadline. If you haven't already, make sure your campus email is set up and you know your login. Professors will communicate with you via email and you may get other messages about on-campus happenings. For most of you, living on campus will be your first time living on your own. But no need to worry, most colleges are set up to make this experience a fun and easy one. As a freshman living on campus, you'll most likely live with a roommate. If you don't request a roommate, most colleges will match you with someone and send you their information. Take this opportunity to get to know them and figure out how they like to live. This is even true if you're living with someone that you already know. Each of you should write a list of your likes and dislikes. What are your living habits? Do you stay up late? Do you watch a lot of TV? Do you like to study in the room or at the library? Knowing these kinds of things up front will help you respect the personalities and habits of each other. Your RA is someone you can reach out to at any time if you have any issues. They're normally upperclassmen students who have been in your shoes before and are here to help you with anything from roommate issues to broken faucets and deciding which professors to choose. They'll also host different events throughout the semester to help you get involved with the students you're living with. Being in college is a great time to make new friends and what easier way than getting to know the people who live around you. You never know when you're going to run out of milk or need that late night cup of coffee. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Living on campus means you're eating on campus. Colleges are going to give you plenty of dining options, so check out a campus map or directory to see what kinds of foods are available. Also, check the times that each location is open. You never know when you're going to crave a late night study snack. If you have any special food needs, make sure you ask the locations how they can accommodate them. Academics are why you're in college, but many studies show that students who get involved perform even better academically. Many campuses will host different on-campus activity fairs or send out emails and on-campus flyers about different ways to get involved. Also, check your campus's website for lists of student activities and to find out who to contact. If your college doesn't have a fair, see if they have a student activities office. They can help recommend different clubs and organizations that may be a good fit for you. There are lots of ways to get involved. Honor societies, departmental clubs, sports, community service organizations, Greek life, and more. Maybe there is an activity you liked in high school. Check out and see if they offer it at your college. But be open to trying something new. Most colleges are going to have way more options than your average high school. It's up to you to find out what kind of time commitment each one will take and what works best for you to stay active on campus. You may have been at the top of your class in high school, but the reality is college can present its challenges. You have to manage your time, balance your social and academic life, and understand that college courses can be more demanding. So check out all the academic resources that your campus has to offer. Are there free tutors? Do you have places like writing or math labs to help? Are there programs in place for freshmen that help you learn about college procedures and policies? Is there a student health center if you get sick? If you need counseling and testing services, see if your campus has an office with these services. College is a great experience and a time to learn independence, but you shouldn't be afraid to ask for help if one semester isn't going the way you planned. Find out what resources are available to you and take advantage of them. I hope this Freshman 101 video has given you some good tips and things to think about as you start your college career. 
Be sure to check out more life skills videos on the Distinguished Young Women's YouTube channel below.